Welcome back to the playthrough of Pathologic 2. As stated before, I do flag all my videos as ASMR because a lot of people like listening to my voice. If that is not ASMR for you, then feel free to leave at this point. Boat. Okay. Okay. We do that. We leave this place. Oh, and Shaka is back there. <sighs> but we're no step closer to not dying. Mm. How do we fix that? Like, for good? Like, how, how do we... Recruits? Oh. We have some plus tinctures. We might just go in here. Also, we need to drink. We might just go in here and try to find some rotten food that we can then eat. Oh, interesting. So I will assume every grocery store doesn't take money anymore, right? Is that true? Because that five minutes that we didn't go there early made it a problem. Yeah. Fucking hell. And we probably also can't just kill the storekeeper to get the money. And now throwing... I got a knife. Never mind, we just die again. And now we get a penalty on hunger. Well, honestly, that doesn't even matter at this point. The fence is as guilty as the thief. Hunger comes into play. Hunger is then. Let me remind you, health continues to dwindle. Well, such are the rules. With each new mistake every time you come to the stage. Right, I forgot about that. Yeah, whatever. Hmm. Hmm. Alright. So what options do we have left? We can try to sell organs, but chances are he doesn't take any money anymore either. Maybe he sells me. Like, I mean, it's a trade after all. Maybe he has something that I want. What the fuck? Hey, Amy, how are you? Welcome.
I'm good in you? Yeah, I'm decent. Slowly starting to get annoyed at this, but we'll we'll press on. We will press on. Okay, so our health will, will drop in just a moment. Maybe we should have reloaded the save before that and try to at least profiteer from the little things that we had. Maybe that would have been the smart play. Maybe that would have been better. So I will assume he gives me something for my organs. It might not necessarily be food, but it might just be something. And at this point everything is more useful than organs. Like we, we don't really get to try to find a cure because we're just busy trying to not starve. That's all we do all day long. We're trying to not starve. And then we get like a little bit of food and we can do like one thing, but then we're busy with not starving again. Ah, oh, wrong house again. Thank you for the lark, Lumi. Appreciate. Oh, there's water. That's something. There is water. Okay. Are you still trading for money? Oh, he is. So that's something. However, he plays a very, a very low amount of money. Are you also still working for money? You do. Oh, that's very useless, unfortunately. I mean, it's nice to have some money, but if no one takes money anymore. Then what's the point? Could get some bandages or something, but yeah, I don't know. Neomycenium, yeah, that's just more, more. Um, more herbs. He has some food, but I can't trade it. Well, maybe if I find some kids. I still have marbles, right? I still have like a couple of marbles and things. So maybe if I find some kids, they can get me something to not starve for like 10 more minutes. Probably less. Three. No. I need to find children. Children are probably the one thing that I can trade with, like the one the one kind of people I can trade with. But these are all too old. That's also entirely useless. Hmm. 
Oh, this is a dead district, right? So depending, maybe... Maybe we can loot a bit. Never mind. Useless stuff. More marbles. And worthless money. Dude, anything. Nope, there's another looter. We need to leave. Can use the other side of the building too, though. Just money. You don't have a lockpick. Oh yeah, we used that to fight. That was a bad decision. Should have not done that. Don't have a lockpick. There's probably someone here, right? No? Nothing to loot? Come here. Nope, nope, nope. And we're leaving. Another house over here. If I don't happen to find some food really, really fast, this is over anyways. No lockpick. Nothing. Nothing. And we're dead yet again. Hmm. And so we didn't manage to make Yas Plus. Unfortunately. Can eat some nuts. Prolong our, our sad life for just a minute. Maybe something here. Closed. Any food, please. Anything. Hey, oh shit. You. No, no, no. No, no, no. Grocery stores sadly got entirely useless. With the fact that they don't take money anymore. There we go. Hmm. 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 Shall I sing you a song? Please don't think that it's about capturing agony. I'm not the kind to burn models alive in an attempt to write truthful suffering. My interests lie elsewhere. It's not about cruelty or the inevitability of the end. The triumph of death. All of that is only a reason, an excuse. Then what is your play about? Me? Undoubtedly, it's about the person, the actor. I'm not an actor, I'm Artemy Burek in the flesh. Open your eyes, clown. I need different actors to continue the same path, each starting where the previous died, so the interpretation of the character carries on. Here's my question. When does the actor become the character? When they go into character. The actor goes out in the town searching for inspiration, a role, he walks down his path. That's what you're about to do. Why do I do this in the town? Why not here in the theater where you can see? Because outside the walls of the theater, the triumph of death, the triumph of death is real. That is why you must act there, not here. 
Why isn't this stage enough? Because I don't care about your emotions, only your understanding. If the actor understands how to work with death, so will others. Like me, don't worry though. In truth, what you see out there is a stage too. It's also a model, like the one in the background behind me. Spare me this cheap philosophy. You may call it a stage to me, it is life. I also feel like every talk with this guy is entirely useless as well. Like, he's not telling us anything that helps us in any way, shape or form. Unfortunately. He's also just blubbering. Hmm. I don't know, I feel like I'm I'm dead ended. I feel like I'm big time dead ended. I should have I should have played entirely different from the from the get go. That would have probably been the solution to this predicament. But like I I I'm 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 so much in that whole game for just like I'm I'm starving and then I'm trying to solve that for a second and then I manage to solve it for a second but then I'm back to starving like I'm I'm so busy busy with my own starvation all the time that I think I dead ended the game unless I find like a really quick and easy solution to this so I can actually continue like going for for storylines instead of just running around trying to find food and this house doesn't have an, an entry, does it? Um, we're out of... No, we, we have tinctures, though. We use metal. The crude sprawl. Do these... Places have any entries. We're out of muddy water. Don't care about that. Let's see. Maybe something's going on here. Cannot really escape anything. Okay, I'm gonna I'm just ignore this for a moment. I'm gonna reload in a second, anyways. Do you guys actually hit me or something, or do you just follow me? Nothing of use. Let the outlandish life dwell within you, and you will. Nothing here is of any use. I gotta go to sleep. I've been up for over 24 hours now. Take care. Yo, you too. Thank you for being here. Have a good one. See you soon, mate. Hmm. I think also I'm gonna I'm call it a day here. I, I need to find out like what to do in this game to not just have it a starvation simulator. Because that, um, that is a bit annoying at times. So with, with path Pathologic we were at the spot where we like, like either we can accept that we have a dead run and we cannot play it anymore and we have to restart. But the game took very long to play to this point. Like, I, I've, I've sunk in 20 hours or something to get to this spot. And I know the game has should be a painful experience and you need to learn and you will die and all that, yada, yada, yada. And the most honorable move would be to restart the game. Like, start anew. Start new save, no things, play better. However, I kind of want to play through this game as a stream game and like finish it right just be at the end at some point 
So the other option is modify the save file real quick. Give us like one day of not starving and try if we can salvage it from here. And that's like the decision I, I, I made here. Like it's it's obviously not ideal. I would have preferred to play it the regular way, just like play better, I guess. But the game is like, it, it doesn't give you enough information to play better. You need to find out and then you need to restart. I think, honestly, I think the restart is intended. But I don't want to restart. I want to finish the game. So um, we, we take a little bit of a, of a cheap way out here. And we see if we can salvage it from here. Or if there's like anything we can do. So like, I'm, I'm not even trying to hide it or anything. Cheetah burn. Yeah, I, it's okay. I, I can live with that. We, we modified the hunger to zero. As you can see, it's already rising again. So it's not like the hunger is gone forever. It's literally just we have, we have a day. And a day is better than not having a day, I'd say. There were several things we, we should do, um, or we could do. There was like something here, Ruben is dead. And we could find who's find out who's responsible. Um, there's something going on there. We'll find out. So let, let's check on Ruben real quick, and then we go to to this place and find out what's going on there. Let's check. Oh, we got some drink in here. In the end, I I, I really thought about should I should I really cheat? What should I do here? But I think it's it's better to to like cheat and be able to see the end of the game than never finish it in the first place. Or like restart and yeah, do it for for the next fifty streams. I'd rather see see an end to this, so we can play the next one. What is this? We don't know. We just don't know. There's a Pathologic 3? No. Not not to my knowledge. However, I've been told in a year or something there will be a new DLC out where we can play one of the other healers. And that would be definitely a good point for a replay. You come with a heavy heart, Eshigar. Did your people kill Reuben? His conscience killed him. He too walked around with a heavy heart, so it tore away and slipped from his chest. So your people have nothing to do with it? Our hands never touched him, but eyes can touch. So we looked at him, made him look at us, made his conscience eat him from the inside. Were you the one who organized this, or were you elders? What does it have to do with me? We, Katange, feel everything together. We hold no counsel. We give no orders. The elders listen, the kin acts. Shekin wakes up again. Have you heard of the old village? I have. Was Reuben's fate decided there? Everything is decided there. The soil there is thin, so one can hear everything. Understand, Eshiger, the only in your world do people decide who lives and who dies. Think so highly of themselves. We do not think, we listen. Everything happens on its own. If you in too much of a hurry to call me that I'm not your father. Consider a flock of birds. Birds give no advice, no speeches. They take wing all the ones go where they need, for they know how to listen. They know not to concept the concept of self. They fear death not. You'll become like that too, and who come to check and understand. Perhaps later when I'm smarter. Yeah, that, that was an entirely fruitless conversation. We had that one before, I think. What's the next one then, um, in terms of games? I'm not entirely sure yet. There is uh, several games that um, there, there would be an option. This game looks like Oblivion. Games shouldn't look like they are from the year 2000 in 2022. The game is not exactly new and it is a, like, a very small indie crew that made it. And I, honestly, I think it looks pretty decent. It looks definitely better than Oblivion. You might have better like memories of Oblivion than it actually was.
and I don't know. I, I, honestly, I think it looks absolutely decent. The NPCs look a bit interesting at times. Yeah, I, I can see that it's it's stuttering a lot. Weird. Like it never did it never did that before, to my knowledge. I guess we're just running, hoping that there's a save back there, and we can just like restart the game real quick. Fifty nine frames, forty five. Like this makes no sense. CPU is chilling at forty percent. Memory is at seventy, still fine. Where's the GPU? Is it, it? It is fine on my end, yes. Maybe it's something with the encoding? It might be. The GPU is damn high. I have a rough idea how to fix it then. Maybe we should just do that. Or turn AA off? We can try. Maybe that helps. I kind of doubt it though. My graphic card is, is maxing out for some reason. Being stubborn is not the same as being strong, kindred. The step is beautiful in fall, and fall is the season of truth. In fall we keep our promises, our own our deeds, our crimes. Cleanse our mistakes, a good season. I know who you are, you're the foreman of the abattoir. I'm a broke man, that's who I am, and you are not kindred, but tomorrow you will be too, and then nothing will ever be fixed. Tomorrow I'll break? Why the hell would I? Because you are Isidore's son. His charge now rests on your shoulders, and you, you're still so little. Mother, Bodo help us all. Better yet, you help me, there must be some sort of unusual blood around here. A terrible tragedy. Many died. I've seen this disease before. Your father did everything right. I'd give my honor, my life, not to let it happen again. But since it has already come to pass, let us take advantage of this tragedy. Take advantage of what are you talking about, Tanger? Our people withered by the year, so that the town grew. It was built on our bones. Now the other way around. The town withers, our people endure. Time to revive the kin. Bikara, what we need now is unity, not discord. Wait, kindred, look carefully. Not at me, at Earth. The lions have brought us both to this dead place. I do not like it, so before you ask anything, tell me, why have you come? I'm making a cure for the sand pest. I need blood, unusual blood. Blood medicine, you say? Good. Well, I am the foreman of the abattoir. My life is blood. I've cut open more balls than you could ever see in your life. My arms are elbow deep in blood. My legs knee deep. So, is this the Odorg's blood? What is it anyway? This is difficult to explain. Instead, you should see. You'll need to come with me to the abattoir. Then let's go. You're the foreman of the abattoir. Who's gonna stop you? It's not that simple. I'll gather the people, open the entrance, but it takes time. We'll figure out how to how the blood streams from there. Who could have have thought? The ear bleeds, shaken bleeds. This is odd. Was there much blood here? This is again entirely gibberish. Hey, Jazz, welcome. 
Um, I need to understand what sort of blood it is. Can you tell me? Let me think. You look bad. Could you possibly be infected too? Oh, nice. Lots of herbs. Lots of herbs. Love to see it. Thank you for watching this episode of the Pathologic 2 playthrough. If you enjoyed it, I would appreciate if you hit that thumbs up button or check out a different video. A new video will be out soon. So thanks and have a great evening or day or morning or whatever time it is for you.